I do research just like you do, okay? I, I want to know what coins are pumping. What are all the big YouTubers picking? What are they excited about? I need to, you know, make sure that they're not being shilly or whatever, getting paid, and they're not uh, some kind of biased information. But I want to know what these guys are saying and if it's correct. And in this video, I'm going to go over Lark Davis's uh, picks for the whole year of 2022. So a little bit of a caveat, it's not done with 2022, but we are done with the first quarter, and I feel like this is a good time to check in for some of his picks that he made in December. If you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm on a journey to my next Bitcoin while helping you to your next Bitcoin. I just want to get into the content here. If you're feeling like it's valuable, just give me a like here. But this is Lark Davis, and you can check out his channel. He usually talks about Bitcoin, Bitcoin news, mostly crypto news, uh, but he is a big like Bitcoin long-term holder. And his first pick was Ethereum. Now, he picked Ethereum at the very beginning for 2022, and January 1st, and you could see that this video came out like uh, this, like uh, December 23. It doesn't say on there, but December 23. You could check it out. But it, Ethereum was at $3,700, and now it's at $3,000 with no available chance to get higher than its initial asking here. Okay, so... Uh, Swing and a miss here, you know what I mean? But who can predict the markets? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, this doesn't discredit Lark Davis. This just shows, like, hey, no one really knows where everything is going. We, I think no one knew that this huge downtrend, and this was mirroring Bitcoin at the time. It still, uh, for the most part, does. And so, yeah, that was a bad miss right there. Uh, the second pick was Elrond. And you can see here he picked out Elrond. And if we look over in Elrond here... That was the second pick. This is the year to date. So again, look at this similar chart. It's like the same chart. Like you know, you, you see the you just see these two steep cliffs, which is very interesting, and two peaks here. I mean, like you, just, it's it's very it's very similar. That's something that's very interesting. And anyway, it follows Bitcoin. And you know, if you invested in Elrond, you would be in the negative right now. You'd be in the negative at the most. You'd be in the negative like, oh, I don't know, a few few percentage points, maybe like 10 percent or so. But now, I mean, like this is Elrond was two thirty six. If you bought there, you'd be le you'd be fifty percent shocked right now. <laughs> okay, the next one is Polygon. He likes Polygon, um, and so do I. I like Polygon too. But check this out. Here's the two big cliffs and then two small peaks right here. Um, no one can predict this, but Polygon was at two dollars and fifty cents. Now it's at a dollar and forty cents. So you're probably sitting at like sixty percent of your total. You know, you lost about forty percent or so. Don't quote my math. I'm just doing some quick hand math. The third one that he picked after Polygon was Solana Gaming. He just picked out some games for Solana, the Solana ecosystem. And I love gaming just as much as you or any of the next guy. But I want to know, were these good picks? So the first one was Aurori right here. And you can see that I have it pulled up. Um, Aurori Project. It actually looks really good, really clean. Some kind of play, catch, earn. You buy, you, you pick these, what I guess, Pokemon. And that looks really clean. I mean, if you look at some of that game footage. Um, and that NFT looks just looks amazing right now. In my opinion, I don't know anything about this project. I was put on by this channel, by this video, by Lark. Um, but it does look so good. Um, and uh, yeah, once it comes out, I I will be trying it. One thing that I like are the investors. Uh, you know, like I always like when things have a lot of uh, backing and investors and stuff like that. However, if you're looking, oh my goodness. So like <laughs> if you bought around $12, it pumped to thirteen dollars, so you're like, "Oh, Lark was right," but then it went, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like so, it's now at nine dollars from thirteen dollars. So not as much of a uh, a hit as you know if your your Elrond or Ethereum calls, but I mean, like yeah, it bottomed out like down to here. Like that's pretty much fifty percent. It's about the same thing, <laughs> and never mind. It's been on a bit of a run up, but yeah, that that one hurt. Uh, the next call that he made in the Solana gaming was um, something called Decimated. And Decimated is this like futuristic, post-apocalyptic, first-person, third-person shooter, rather. Um, and so it looks like they're getting started. Now you got to understand, like, this looks really good. Like, look at the production on this stuff. This looks really clean, really good. He was showing some gameplay footage on there. I'm liking that it's built on Unreal Engine, always a credible source. But if you see Decimated, you, you're... you're while it got decimated, <laughs> 53%, all the way down to $0.08. Cents. That was the worst performing asset right now. I mean, that is just completely decimated. Uh, does not even stand a chance. You, you got wrecked here. That That's a wreckage right there. <laughs> um, and then, uh, like, right here is Legends of Illumina. 
I have two things with these types of games. One, I do get sketched out when they have like super like sexy girls like front cover. Why? Because I, I consider that like, you know, it's someone trying to lure me into some kind of scam. That's all. I, I see big red flag scams right here. Um, you guys see big red things anyway. So I'm, I don't know. We'll see uh, how that plays out. But this one is not... This one is not in any kind of... Oh, oh, you're coming at me, bro. <laughs> so, I'm married. Um, but, wow, look at that. That looks really clean. So, I do get sketched out because this guy looks like Garen from League of Legends. So, I'm not sure. I don't really like that. I don't like when games, like, really mimic or imitate something else. Um, but, you know, okay. Hasn't come out yet, so we still don't know uh, how it's going to do. Uh, because Legends of Lumina is, is not out out yet if you want to know more details this is not a you know there's not a deep dive onto this game you just go here to the website illumina.io and check them out um but yeah and then the fourth or the fifth or some pick was uh wild world lark davis is a big proponent of wild world he is heavily invested in it so just take all these calls with a grain of salt that he is invested in all of them so anytime you buy you pump his bags but maybe you guys can get big bags together but uh wilder world seems to be another metaverse play um, and so you see here that it is a, oh wait, year to date? Yeah, it's a wreckage play. Look at this thing. $3.30 compared to $1. So you've lost more than 60%, probably around 70% of your holdings. Um, and then there's just no chance to get over there. Now, is this his fault? And I'm going to say no, because if we're going to go look at coin market cap, like no one can predict this stuff. He just likes games. He likes um, stuff that he's excited about. Bitcoin, however, would have been a, probably a better bet just putting all that money into Bitcoin because at 47,000, you've seen the same hits at 47,000. Um, so, and then you got more swing trade options here. Like if you bought here, you could have sold here. Um, you, you know, if you keep keep on buying into it compared to something like decimated where there's just like, it's decimation. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, take these guys with a grain of salt. I mean, I love Lark Davis as much as the next guy. I've learned a lot from him. and uh, But you can't take these calls on these YouTubers, including myself, too seriously. Look, we don't know anything, all right? We're just turning on a camera, talking to a camera, and just saying, like, what we like, honestly. And he says it's not financial advice, and I don't take it as financial advice. It's just something that he's excited or and, and very interested in. And same thing with me. If these projects come up, and you see, like, my, my face light up on AMAs, for sure, I'm like... This is the greatest project ever. Blah, blah, blah. And I could be totally wrong. I'd be totally off. And a million other things could happen to these projects uh, between the time it could sh shoot off or whatever. And then what really gets me is when people like call it right and then they're like, oh, I call it right. What's your score record? You know what I mean? Like mine's, I don't know if mine's good. You guys can check me, make a video on me and see if I'm checking. But I don't make these projects a lot. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you, uh, you know, hanging out with me on this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Guys, keep it simple. Lizard Brain Project.